You heard it on the Bush Telegraph. Tonight's Aussie childhood is Lee Kernigan. my hometown of Albury at the Bullring Bistro, which is where I used to play five nights a week. Uh, songs like Girl from Ipanema and Quando, Quando, Quando. Well, this is it. This is the original Kernigan family home, 358 Indiana Court. And, well, this is where I learnt to play the guitar, learnt to play the piano here. We're the boys from the bush and we're back in town. Well, the dog's in the bag and the foot goes down. As a kid, the two things that I was mad about were music and footy. And my dream was to one day go down to Melbourne and play for Carl. Reg, how are you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lee Kernigan. Jeez, it's good to see you, mate. It's been a while, what, 10, 12 years since I've seen you around here? Yeah, I reckon it would be, mate. <laughs> Reg was my old footy coach when I was in the, uh, like the under eight, in the under 10. Under eight went on to under 10s, going back, what, early 70s? Yeah. Remember you gave me this, Reg? Yeah. Um, most improved player award to Lee Kernigan, uh, under 10s, 1975. Well, boy, gee, that brings back a memory. Well, I can remember that, mate, because, like I said, you start off as a shy, skinny little kid. And just coming up here is um, radio station 2AY, and this is actually where I did my very first public performance uh, when I was uh, only five years old. And uh, I went in there and sang an old Rolf Harris song called Two Little Boys in that talent quest and I came, uh, I think I came about fourth or fifth, but uh, I got the consolation prize of a couple of uh, cartons of chocolate milk. Billy was a drover, he lived out on the three chain road. This is the three chain road situated about 50 kilometres from Albury and it used to be an old stock route and that's why they call it three chain road. It actually in the old imperial scale used to be three chains wide which is about uh, 66 yards. And my grandfather, Pat Kernigan, was a drover, and for many years he used to drove uh, sheep and cattle up and down this road. When he brought the cattle home, well, there's a lonesome wind blowing down the three chain road tonight. My uncles are still involved in the driving game. Uncle Kev is full time on the road, taking cattle up and down the stock routes to fatten them up. And Uncle Cole drops by from time to time to lend him a hand. How long have you been out this time? Oh, three months. Yeah? Mm. But it's just about finished, now three weeks and I'll be finished. Then yeah. I'm going to go and watch one of your shows. Yeah. Hey? Well, you know what I reckon we should do tonight? What? I reckon uh, when you, you must be getting ready to knock off now, would you? Well, as soon as I go in that gate, I'm going. Well, where's the nearest pub? But now my heart is shackled Kev is now the last of the droving Kernigans. And Col T. Jackson is really Colin Kernigan. But there were so many singing Kernigans on the road a few years ago that he changed his stage name. And now, wherever he goes, the king lives on. I said, blue, blue, blue suede shoes are best. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes are best. It's when I get together with those uncles of mine that I really feel like I've come home. Blue suede shoes, you can do anything but lay off of my blue suede shoes. Lee's uncle Kev is the last of the Kernigan drovers. The Stockman's Hall of Fame says that of the 5,000 drovers who worked around Australia in 1960, modern transport has reduced their number to less than 100. Here's another bit of raw Australiana. Gary Fogarty is a community worker and part-time poet at Milmerran, which is between Toowoomba and Gundawindi in Queensland. Now have a listen to this. Hi, I'm Gary Fogarty and I'm here in Winton, outback Queensland. And here's another bit of pure Australian magic. Have you seen the glowing embers of a sunset in the west? Have you sat and watched from Bondi the white foam on the crest? Has the snow on Kosciuszko numbed your senses from the cold? 
as the fine dust clog your nostrils, as the bird's whole track unfolds. Have you felt the joyous wonder when an underdog's got up? Have you tasted sweeter water than you drank from friendship's cup? Have you stood beside your countrymen, no thought of race nor creed, and sung waltzing Matilda for the whole damn world to heed? Then you have no need of poets, even if their words ring true, to praise waltzing Matilda and what it means to you. For the spirit of Matilda beats deep within your heart and unites our fledgling nation that none shall tear apart.